A UPS driver from Woodbridge has been on the job for nearly 50 years now, and not only that, he has a perfect driving record. And tonight's working for Connecticut News 8's photojournalist Tom Parent hitches a ride with the unbreakable Walter Beasley. <laughs> My very first day was October the 4th, 1967. I said, if I am accepted at UPS, I would do my very best. <laughs> my name is Walter L. Beasley. I've been working for UPS going on 50 years. And uh, here it is 50 years later, and I feel proud. He's always trying to find something wrong. That's the object of a good pre-trip. When I came in here and I went in that lunchroom, they came in that lunchroom and said, Mr. Beasley, follow me. I followed him. He opened his trailer door full of packages. I said, I don't know if I can do this kind of work. But then something was inside me because it was during the Martin Luther King era and not many Afro-Americans had a good job working at UPS. Something was inside of me says, look, you don't see many of your brothers here, but you're going to try to do your very, very best. That's what I set my goal at. One thing that sticks with me forever, Ella Grassa closed 95, and I was determined to sleep in my own bed. What made it so simple was a lot of people didn't come to work, and I had the road to myself. And I came into this building, I wanted to get out and kiss the ground. Marty Peters is out of Detroit, Michigan. 87 years old, retired after 63 years with UPS. But Marty Peters is my idol. I'm gonna give Marty Peters a good run for his money. Take one day at a time, and every day I come to work, I say, oh, wow, just another day in paradise. <laughs> <laughs>